Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, welcome. Thank you for joining me for this video. As you can see from today's title, we'll be reviewing the new... I've lost the palette already. Too Faced uh, Pumpkin Spice Eyeshadow Palette. So, if you're those that are probably wondering, this is the eye look that we did come up with. Now, I am in very impressed very impressed um so yeah if you want to see what my thoughts are on the new palette and also the new matte lippy then please keep on watching so um i did receive this in pr this video isn't sponsored in any way shape or form this product was given in P or in as a pr um no obligation to post in any way shape or form all these opinions are of my own with this cute little pr box that we have going on right here and then when you open it it had obviously the palette and then the lippy a little card just to say thank you and you know all opinions are my own we have some information going on right here so let me read this out for you i'll just say i do not know any dates or prices i'm guessing this palette is going to be around 39 pounds in the uk i'm not too sure i think this might have already launched in the us i don't know if this is out by the time this video is out i will link it all of that jazz but i'll try to get as much information as possible so this is the new pumpkin spice limited edition warm and spicy eyeshadow palettes it says capture all the sexy full fills with this with our two cute pumpkin spice eyeshadow palette baked with 18 scented warm and spicy shades that wrap you in the cozy sexy warmth of the season rich creamy colors in the variety of finishes make transitioning your look from daytime dreamy to nighttime sultry as easy as pie so of course as soon as i saw this i thought of starbucks like the pumpkin spice latte i've never tried it i know a lot of you guys are going to come for me and be like what are you doing with your life i need to try it i know i will try it just right now i can't want to go to starbucks i have no starbucks near me and i don't drive so yeah but as you can see from the palette this is what the packaging of it looks like it's gorgeous it is gorgeous i have never really been a huge Too Faced eyeshadow palette fan i don't know why I don't know, maybe just the colours don't really scream me. Like, they don't really scream Hannah, use them. And also, they're £39 for a palette. It's a bit much. But yeah, but this guy, I was like, oh, it's probably going to be like, you know, didn't know it was launching, hadn't seen it before, and then it came in a PR. And then I opened it. Wow. Wow. I'm sorry. Like, I know a lot of people in, that are not in the makeup industry, they don't understand. Like, you know when you open an eyeshadow palette and it just gives you glory and it just makes your day. Like, when I opened this, I was like, I was generally expecting not that much because it's Too Faced. Like, yeah, Too Faced based products are insane and I love their brand as a whole. But the eyeshadow palettes were never really my sort of jam. Like, I don't think you guys have seen me use their eyeshadows on my Instagram until now and you know what it was it was this little section like this section's cute but it was this little section where i saw a little pop of purple and a pink i haven't really seen this from Too faced maybe I, maybe i'm missing out maybe i need a little bit more color in my life but when i saw this palette especially these two shades right here i was given life like literally and i can just see a look I'm going to create soon this week using these four shades right here i'm going to show you a tutorial in a minute using this like creating this sort of look right here i'm super impressed i've got so many thoughts i am like impressed but then i'm like hmm hmm but then i'm looking at the eyeshadow look and i'm like i'm not mad you know when you go for an eyeshadow look and you're applying like different shades and i actually did my eyes before my makeup like my base which i never normally do i normally always do my base and then my eyes i wanted to try it this way and i thought i've missed it i used to ages ago but anyway when I was doing this and I was trusted, I was thinking to myself, like, you know what, you've got to trust the process. It just wasn't going where I wanted it to go. And then it ended up where I wanted it to go and even further. So the girl is impressed. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to, uh, I'm going to quickly show you the tutorial. Yeah, if you have any information on the prices or date launch and whatnot, please put it in the comments and then I'll pin it or, like, make it a priority comment. I don't know if I can do that. And then, yeah, it was into the tutorial okay so diving straight into the look we're going to go in with the first shade spice of life which is this gorgeous purple and we're going to take that focusing that on the outer corner but sort of like really near the lash line and then you're going to sort of bend, blend it out but making sure that there's more concentrated pigment near the lash line rather than on the outer then we're going to take the shade use spicy and just start to blend that into spice of life and then go back and forth between the two colors before we take a mixture of the shades full for it and pumpkin spice which we'll see in just a moment but yeah these blended beautifully together not what I 
expected, but so gave, they gave me so much. I just, I'm in love. And then taking this two shades, like I said, Fall For It and Pumpkin Spice, which are beautiful. And again, I'm going between the four shades, making sure I build intensity because they're, they're pigmented, but they don't, they're not that intense, but you can build them, which is gorgeous. Then I'm taking the shades Want A Piece Of Me and PSL and Chill. Um, these are really, really lovely. They're a little bit like difficult to work with, but they were fine. And I did take some Oh My God in the inner corner, but I forgot to record that as it was blurry. I took the Inglot liner and then I took this P. Louise base. I can't remember which one it was. It's the lilac -y one. Applied some lashes, then went back in with the two original shades, You Spicy and Spice of Life. Then obviously built with this full vibes in the inner corner. And yeah, the look is done. I'm sorry that I was all over the place in this voiceover. I could never talk for some reason, but yeah, this is the final look and I hope you enjoyed it. Now back as you can see i am absolutely living for this eye look and the lashes i will mention everything obviously you've probably already seen it already um i've obviously added a few two i think two or three products that are outside of the Too Faced line and uh, the p louise one and an inglot liner which obviously you guys would have seen um look at these cute little curls anyway um brain freeze so onto the actual palette your girl is incredibly impressed i think it's because i've never really been a true Too Faced eyeshadow fan i know a lot of people are do you know what it was for me it was the color selection they were so they hit the nail is it i don't know that phrase what is it is it hit the nail on the head is it let me know but they aced this palette personally now i can definitely see myself gravitating towards this like all the freaking time like these shades like they're just so well thought oh, that's like a khaki but it's not a khaki it's not a mustard it's not a brown it's a oh a lovely shade that i could just see in my crease and then you know like a nice smoky black liner or something and then you've got the purples and then you've got these gorgeous like pumpkin shades and then you've got the shimmers you've got this green shimmer this pink shimmer this other pink shimmer this another green shimmer this purple shimmers love it and you know what i'm seeing there's not many of that transitional strains there's literally like maybe one or two and or three like these i wouldn't really call i wouldn't really call that one a transitional shade or that one but they are great now i did actually add a little bit like of warmth like it doesn't pick up on camera maybe it will i'm editing but there's a little bit of orange added along i just wanted to like make it not too purpley pinky um i know this isn't really full like inspired but i love how you don't actually have to get a full inspired look by this I'm, I'm loving it the mattes i had no problem with now i'm not gonna lie to you i did expect a tiny bit more in terms of i think when i'm looking at it now i'm like i don't but i think when i was originally um applying the product when i first initially used this the shade spice of life it didn't come out as purpley as i wanted to they're very like muted like musky muted versions of a color so like for example these are like this like a really beautiful purple shade like an indigo shade but it doesn't come off like an indigo it comes off more of like a really really how do i explain it like a what's the oh i can't it's not as rich is that the right word it's not as rich as you would expect it to be it just comes out a little bit more dusty which i actually like um and then obviously you've got this gorgeous shade called you spicy stunning pink absolutely stunning pink and then you've got the shades full for it and a pumpkin spice now pumpkin spice is probably one of my favorite shades out of this palette and then i went into the shimmers now we have one a piece of me and then psl and chill i'm not gonna lie to you they are very crumbly they do fall apart um i try to use them on my finger they work on my finger however when i was using them with a brush and i even spritzed my brush there wasn't that much going on it did it it took me quite a while and i think from from a distance you can see the shimmer especially the shades oh my god and um crisp that i used they were really really lovely but um i found that i had to obviously scrape off the top layer to then get that gather like get, then get that pigment but i think if i come up close like they're not too too intense like something like the morphe or anastasia beverly Hills shimmers but i'm not mad at it sometimes when they're a little bit too much and you want to blend them into like your brow bone they just look very sharp so they leave like this dead line but they don't here blending issues none um pigmented 100 percent um what else was there? There was no patchiness. I have I have eczema on my eyelids right now, but you can't tell. Normally when I use, for example, I could use like a Makeup Revolution. No shade to them. They're great. But sometimes I find if I use them and I've got eczema on my eyelids, so I've got really dry eyelids, they tend to gather around those areas that are really dry. This palette didn't. Um, would I recommend this? I don't normally use Too Faced palettes, but yes. 
you do need this you need it i'm sorry but this as a such a cute christmas present i can just see myself buying this for my friend now if you check out my instagram i'm probably gonna have a ton of eyeshadow looks i know i sound really hyped right now i you know do you know what it is when a night when a makeup look falls together the way it's planned and i get you guys can vouch for me here when a makeup look falls to plan you can't be defeated like no one in their business can be defeating you that day i feel up in my spirits like i generally do like i feel i look decent because the makeup look went to plan and i generally didn't think it was going to go to plan at all but it went to plan and i i had high hopes for this because i was like the color selection but i was like oh is the pigmentation going to fall in place is all of that going to fall in place yes it did we have this little guy which i'm going to read you the information on also so we have here the new melted matte pumpkin spice limited edition why are they limited edition you know when they say that and then they end up bringing it as a permanent palette they need to bring that as a permanent palette like it can't just be a, a full palette that is gorgeous um limited edition liquefied matte long wear lipstick and it glides over the lips like a gloss and dries down to an ultra matte opaque finish with sting plumping filler melted matte ensures color always looks rich full and kissable never dry shriveled or cracked it contains avocado oil vitamin e hyaluronic filling spheres lightweight um long wear formula plumping and smoothing effect now i can vouch for you in all of those things now if I bring up my lips to you right now, obviously they look like my lips. There is no dryness, there is no cracking, there is no, like you know how like sometimes the Anastasia Beverly Hills lipsticks, they add that really, really tight feeling. There's no tingling, doesn't really feel plumping, but my lips look a little bit more plumped than usual, maybe? I don't know. Um, I did actually add a little bit of the Anastasia um, sand in the middle, just because I wanted to add a little bit of um, brightness, in, what do you call that? A tiny bit of a gradient not too much anyway because i didn't want this to be like a full opaque lip but this is pigmented i didn't i i used the lip liner but then i look at it now and i'm like i don't really need to use the lip liner and i didn't think i was going to like shades like this but this is gorgeous would i recommend yeah it's not something you maybe need but if you love their formula i don't know if this is a new formula or whatnot but i definitely will be getting these and i know you can get these shades in like tk Maxx, so but yeah would i recommend this yeah great went on lovely um i'll show you the application if i can in just a second or you've probably seen it already i don't really know how i'm gonna edit this but yeah i have no complaints it's such a lovely these are such a lovely little combo you need both of them yeah but if you need something and you want something out of the collection this is the guy to go for I, do you know what it is i just can't wait to this evening to film another look using this like i'm literally pumped for it like you're gonna see maybe four or five looks on my instagram page you're gonna be like hannah can you use another palette no um so yeah that is literally everything got no complaints i've been talking for ages now so yeah i really really hope you enjoyed this video let me know your thoughts but yeah i really really hope you enjoyed this video let me know your thoughts please subscribe if you're new here i love that and i shall see you in my next one bye